Howdy, cowdies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. Hope you're going good. Once again, we've been friggin' busy. Lots of nice stuff this week. Big lot of MCC membership medallions. Little Victoria Georgian, little sort of paper mache shoe shaped snuff box. These are two nice early MCC medallions, 1930s. Some silver over the back. Little perfume bottle is by Julio Santos. The swan is uranium glass. Some nice little Italian Murano owls. Some other lovely little sort of trinket boxes, jewellery boxes, Victorian glass, gilt ormolu. Pin-up girl cards, really nice snuff boxes, all hand-painted. What else we got? These are all rugby league membership medallions, eastern suburbs, South Sydney Rabbitohs. Big lot of VFL Park medallions. Really nice little blue glass inkwells over the back. Some nice ladies' watch over the back. Some more sort of jewellery, badges and medallions. More nice little sort of snuff boxes. Silver. They're kind of nice as well, actually. A little pair of the Sydney Harbour Bridge salt and pepper shakers. All right. The lamp works. <laughs> Great little retro uh, typewriter. Really nice little mahogany desk. Big display cabinet. There's a ripper of a bit. I think it's going to be the What's It Worth on Facebook this week. And we've put some stuff in it. Some carnival glass. Mustangs. Commodore. Some Ford Fairlane or something. More bits of carnival glass. Aston Martins. V8 Supercar. Falcon GT. And a GT HO Phase 3. Cool little bedside table. Nice lot of art reference books. Nice big French porcelain dinner setting. Boxes down under the table, all sorts of stuff. Cool little kerosene single burner with some other sort of blokey gear. Glass and crystal. Road signs. Uh, tools and stuff. you got golf clubs and fishing rods and rip sticks in that lot. Uh, big group, lot of stuff under the desk, tools, some glass and other stuff, little 124 scale sort of little sports cars, ceramics, nice collection of Dalton reference books, records, sort of wooden carvings and other bits, Italian ceramics, there, there and up the top, collection of books are nice including the gourmet cookbooks. Train windows, little paintings with a little box of sort of badges and things as well. What else have we got? Four boxes, all lamp making parts, heaps of these crystal droplets and chandelier parts and stuff. Big lot of magazines and some sort of fold out retro chairs, light shades, little retro lamp and a little sort of twin branch anodized one, records. A uh, mix lot there with all the pubinalia and some other stuff. You've got ladies' fur hats. These are all radio broadcast records. Two boxes of the mixed china and stuff. This is all sort of Scandinavian glass. Ladies' accessories. Heaps more of the chandelier and light-making stuff. All of these nice glass droplets. Heaps of stuff. Four boxes full. Big lot of gear under the table. There you go, four boxes or five boxes there in that lot. Some more badges and medallions and stuff. Some pens, more badges, blokey gear. The bullet-shaped sort of dice shakers, a ripper over the back with some pipes and stuff. These are all Caulfield cycling badges. Nice little um, oriental belt buckles. Watches. Some sporting ephemera. Um, horse racing and Melbourne Olympics. Um, they're all sort of footy medallions and stuff, mixed lot of badges, monkey hooks, a little lot of sort of tools and radios and sort of watches and stuff. More records, a couple of nice paintings, the big Ray Newton landscape over the back. This little sort of abstract sort of thing's pretty cool as well. Not signed. Uh, a couple of freestyle BMXs, the Mongoose Pro Villain. Big sort of eastern gouache. 
Lady playing the flute with the deers. Radiogram's pretty cool. What else have we got? Big lot of pictures. Boxes of books. Mix sort of lots of stuff. Audio gear. Australiana, including an Outback Dunny. What else have we got? Records. Mix a lot of sort of glass, some art glass and other stuff in amongst. Little collection of books on sort of trains and trams. Little mix lot with the skateboard, the phone, and some lunar module. Big lot of Australian pottery. Nice lot of books. Heaps of Edgar Rice Burroughs books in amongst. C.S. Foresters. I like this sort of 80s Korean porcelain dinner set. Mix lot of china and glass. Couple of cars, ladies' accessories, jewellery boxes. Little mixed group lot with the classical candlesticks, shorter and sun, other bits. Collection of animals, glass and wooden. Little mix lot of retro stuff. Three American races. Little mix lot of English with the Dalton Pansy little dish on top. Got some more sort of sports cars, little mini. Big collection of glass. This sort of globe is pretty cool, just sitting in the hand. There you go, big Italian pheasants damaged over the back. There you go, Mackenzie and Holland Railway lights. Big painted pipes, which are pretty cool with the bird, water birds on them. Nice collection of Balinese wooden carvings. I really like this arts and crafts sort of fire curb with the built-in fire boxes with the nice big raised sort of dragons up either end. Little modern sort of sideboards, kind of cool. You got some white ceramics, Rosler German stuff, and some other gear in amongst. Stereo gear, some ladies' hats and furs. Uh, English china, Ainsley Shelley, Copeland Spode. Jardiniers, some nice paintings this week. Patricia Giles, modern pastel, birds and nest is a ripper. Really like this little William Henry short. Junior, little crashing seascape. This thing's really nice. Simon the initials SD, Wanganui River, about 1880. Ian Purvis watercolors, nice as well, of Noosa. What else have we got? Uh, Elizabeth Newman, this is a great mixed media. A little landscape. Uh, Marie Weeks. Nice little oil painting of Baron Joey up in New South Wales. Kind of like this thing. Ray Clements, I think it is. Big 1970s terrace house. This one's just got Jay Klein on the back, I think. Or Keely. I think she's probably from the Beaumaris Art Group, but I'm not sure if it's her. And this is nice. Big Duncan Goldfinch, big Sydney painter. It's a nice thing with the cattle crossing the river. Oz Pottery, press glass sets. Hats, including Astrakhan. A couple of cool old Jags. A lot of American sports cars. All right, retro ceramics. Nice big old atlas with engraved maps and stuff. Nice collection of EP coasters, wine bottle coasters and the rest. Jewellery. Glass, Stuart and Victorian stuff. The 70s wall pictures. Some more nice ladies hats and fascinators. Jewellery. Watches, APNS, El Camino. A couple of cool bits of sheet music, including the Beatles book. A couple of presidential limousines. These are a bit unusual. These heavy metal sort of stalks, candlesticks, standing on the back of turtles. Some little sort of sticks and things. Big lot of jewellery. Collection of Boyd Perry cast metal sort of little miniatures from the gold mining era. These are cool in their little display case. Woodbine cigarette ashtray with a nice collection of cigarette cards in the album. Watches. More jewellery. These are a nice collection of little felt paintings of Aboriginal sort of kids and stuff like that. Ford Falcon GT. You got a 124 scale GDHO. Another presidential limousine. These are nice. A little clock and the lovely old photo frame. Victorian glass. A couple of American muscle cars. Good Australian books, art reference, Russell Drysdale, 
and involvement, the portraits of Clifton Pugh and Mark Strizik. He's great, the little medieval. Oh, should work when you push that little medieval night table cigarette lighter. Little two pairs of French porcelain vases, more train signs, a couple of horns, crazy big walking stick with the paperwork to go with it. Really nice fascinators or ladies' hats with the markersite sort of embellishments. Balinese wooden carvings, pretty cool up the top, bit abstract. Jugs, Victorian pieces, jewellery and boxes, collection of books on Fabergé, Holden HR workshop manuals, a ripper. Nice little Bakelite radio, collection of art glass, nice eastern tray, Victorian porcelain. You've got the leak and little Royal Worcester classical little sort of dolphin over the back. Some more little Aboriginal felt paintings, a set of three. This is all Limoges porcelain. This is pretty cool. A Corvair Monza or something. A little car with the rear mounted engine, little American convertible. Nice collection of amber glass. These are nice little sort of tea light holders. Uh, art glass, this stuff looks to be fluorite. Two more nice fascinators, Capitamonte. Some birds, a couple of Volksy hot rods, carnival glass. Cool big spittoon with a nice little sort of clock in a bottle. Set of eight of these things, look like big sort of piano feet or something like that. Make good frisbees. Uh, tribal bits, irons, jewellery, more jewellery. Ladies' accessories, there's a good camera in there. Tribal bits, nice little bit of art glass with the midwinter woofer dog. These are pretty amazing. All the little miniature furniture pieces. These are all been made out of old cans. So someone's actually cut the can and sort of twisted and shaped all the metal around. They're bloody amazing, those things. Big Italian ceramic cap. Little lot with the projector and some tins. Little lot of cups and a nice little oil burner. Nice old rubber stamp there with some tools, shipping items, lacquerware bowl, an old jag, bells, poker work, more little sort of felt paintings, a set of four. There you go, the Nissan Racer, a couple of pickup trucks. Uh, Italian fonts, nice jewellery box and a book on fashion, sort of um, vintage fashion. Jewellery, collection of mixed EP and glassware. Carnival, there's two nice bits of Australian press glass with the Waratah, I think, or native floral design. EPNS, this is all made for Melbourne stores. Two nice bits of Carnival, a big Camaro, ladies' accessories, birds, Rose Noble, more accessories, another Falcon. Nice lot of Japanese and Chinese porcelain, little sake sets nice, and this Satsuma plate. What else have we got? Two nice little bits of carnival glass, the Carlton Ware, another other couple of bits of carnival glass. A Victorian vase over the back, a pair of the candlesticks, more carnival, the book on George Brack. Nice little collection of carnival glass tumblers, two bits of art glass, a little bit there's Home Guard by Per Lutkin. A big Royal Albert tea set down the bottom with some extras. Nice big um, woods, I think it is, Indian tree charger. Carnival glass with the big sort of thick raised roses. A couple of nice boomerangs. Sweet, our Scandinavian glass. Carnival, 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 carnival. Here's a nice bit with the Vaseline through it. More carnival glass, all with hand painted floral design. Little Volksy Carmen gear. A couple of nice little Russian lacquerware boxes. And floor and Australian pottery deco style wall pocket. Here's nice little Sydney Harbour Bridge. This one's uranium glass. That one's by Milton Moon. Nice book on Australian pottery. First edition book, The Lynx. Pretty cool, all talking about St Andrews Golf Club, published in about 1926. This heavy metal belt is pretty amazing with all these sort of like little Damascene panels in it. Nice big bit of Australian art glass. Eamon Verica or something like that. I think. I uh, really like this clock with a nice little inkwell in the front. More carnival glass, Victorian glass, an old flood Australian pottery bowl. And this is a nice little inkwell. Can't believe all the lids are still there and even that little one in the middle. Victorian glass, great book on Sydney modern artists, E.H. Holden, which is, yep, L.C. Tirana GDRXU1. 
Uh, Cottonway uranium glass. I think this is a pretty cool bit. Little carnival glass bottle there of Stone Mountain Straight Whiskey. Really nice thing. Uh, Stan Halpern, Robert Langley over the back. Touring Car Racer, Jimmy Richards, the Tirana L34 or something, I think it is. Carnival glass, religious candlesticks, nice big bit of Italian. Burmese satin glass, that thing will light up under a UV light because of the uranium content. There's some other stuff I've forgotten to show you. Oh yeah, how's that for a big lot of Victorian glass bloody luster drops? Two boxes full. Perfumes and stuff, more die cast, but that'll do guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. We'll see you on Thursday night. Should be another good sale.